fantastic debut for Bellator. Tell us, tell us how you feel. I feel uh, super good. What else to say? Yeah, it's a great experience being with Bellator, and uh, yeah, it was just all in all a great experience fighting in Bellator. First time in France, putting on a good performance. It was a great week, so I'm happy. Uh, the opponent was a Austrian national champion. Did you have footage on him going into this? Yeah, I had a little bit. I think it was it was a little hard to find footage on him, but uh, actually, do I look at you or there? Out there. Okay. <laughs> it was a little hard to to find footage on him, but uh, the footage I found was pretty new, and I was it gave me kind of a sense of on what what kind of guy he was, and it just went from there. No, we'll turn it. We'll turn it over to the media now, Donna. Hey, Mads, how's it going? Congratulations on, on a great performance. Were you surprised when he came in and, and shot so early on? Did you think it was it was strange for him to want to, to go to the ground so early? And also, yeah. were you happy with the stop? As soon as he shot, I was like, okay, you know <laughs> I'm good at the front, hit, front headlock. Like, what are you doing? But then when he got up, I was like, okay, he only shot to make me think that he was going to go for the shot so he could box a little more. And the plan for me was actually to box. But then I felt like his strength and like his grappling, just out of that small little exchange, I could feel how his grappling was. And I was like, okay, let me put a combo on him and take, take him down and yeah, cook the beans. It's a historic event for many, many reasons. Of course, the big thing is that it's the first event in, in Paris with a major MMA promotion, but also it's the first time during this whole lockdown period that we've had mainstream MMA with fans in the building. Could you sense the 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 feeling that something special was going on tonight or this, the, yes. this afternoon? Yes, definitely. All week, people have been bossing like, "Oh, it's the first one in the, it's the first major event in France, and and this and that." So yeah, of course, I could feel that there was a there was a bus in there. Uh, last one for me. Is there anyone you want next? I know that you take one fight at a time, but do you have any? Is there any names you want to call out right now? I have to go home and think. Before I can answer that, I don't know. Right now, yeah. Jay Anderson. Hey, Matt, just a quick one from me. Congratulations on the win. Uh, when we spoke to Oliver Encomp this week, uh, before the fight, he talked about wanting to fight at home for Bellator, mentioned rumors that maybe they were going to head to Sweden. Uh, how about a trip to Denmark? Is that a goal of yours to take part in a show there with Bellator? 100%. That would be a dream come true if Bellator came to Denmark so all my hometown, guy, home, hometown guys could come to because like we're a clique full of, full of broke guys so if it's in Denmark it's way easier and cheaper for them to come. <laughs> so yeah, that would be awesome if Bellator came to Denmark. But as I said, like one, one small step at a time, eventually like they will come. If I keep performing and we get some more Danes in, in Bellator, why not? But the decision is, of course, not up to me, but it would be a dream come true if Bellator came to Denmark. Looking forward to it. Santiago? Matt, congratulations on a beautiful performance in your debut. That was a pretty quick finish. Are we going to see you fight again in this year? Oh, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I have to go home and talk with my manager. I don't know. The goal for me because of this pandemic and all this stuff was if I could get just one fight in this year, uh, that, would be, uh, that would be great. And I got that one fight in. I'm pretty big. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. And then last thing for me, were you a bit disappointed that the fight was over so soon? After the match, you looked a little bit emotionless and like you wanted some more action. No, it's like uh, I have this philosophy in fighting. You cannot use emotions for anything. I just have to go in there and execute and perform and do what I train to do and like uh, and show respect to my opponent. My opponent, he had been doing like a whole training camp. Uh, maybe he'd been away from his family, his kids. I don't know if he has that, but he's been away from his family and his kids. So ain't no sense is in going like ah, around yelling like a, like a madman. It was more of a sign of respect that I wasn't like acting crazy. Lenny March. How's it going, Mads? Congrats on a great performance. Thank you. 
Yeah, before the fight, we spoke in the, the, the pre-fight interviews and I asked you, what do you need to do to get that first TKO or KO win? And tonight you earned your first ever stoppage with your fists. How did that feel? Felt good. Felt good. Like I said in the interview in the, in the cage, I don't know how much sense that made because I could hear my own voice while I was talking. So it was a little weird. But yeah, in, during this uh, pandemic, I made my basement, I turned my basement into a matted room and I been working a lot of ground and pound with the guys back home uh, actually since March. So it was good seeing like the fruits of my labor or what you say, working. Yeah. Well, you're off to winning ways now in your Bellator career and you got you kicked off with a win in your Bellator debut. How important was it to get a win in your Bellator debut? Of course, super important. Super important. And now I got it. So it's perfect. Thank you. That's all for me. Congrats. Thank you. Rick? Rick. Yes, um, congratulations Rick. on the win. Yeah, cool. What's up, Rick? Um, my question is, um, did you go into your original game plan or did you expect something more different from doing this fight tonight? To be honest, when I fight, I don't necessarily go in and have a game plan because I would say that I have a pretty, pretty, uh, pretty uh, big uh, arsenal of what I can do. I'm, I'm a good boxer. I'm a good at jiu-jitsu. So usually I just go in and see what the fight gives me, and then I go from there. And actually, I wanted to box this guy. But then he shot on me, and like I said earlier in the interview, I can feel like just from that little exchange of grappling, I feel, okay, it's going to be a pretty quick night if I just take him down. And I did, and it was quick. All right, thank you. Thanks. All right, Mads, thank you very much for the time. Congratulations.